Hi, everybody. Pam Friedman, Certified Divorce Financial Analyst with FinanciallyFitDivorce.com here with our 30 tips in 30 days. We're towards the end here. I uh, wanted to give a quick uh, video about infidelity in divorce and what are the consequences of infidelity in divorce. And while the title of this video sounds uh, more salacious and exciting than it is, I really want to talk about financial infidelity. What is it that you believe is, and we, we've done some previous videos on hidden assets that you believe might be hidden from you or have been hidden from you, uh, assets they are in places that you don't know about. Of course, we've talked about a lot of things can be found out on the tax return. You can also uh, request a copy of someone's um, credit report to see where the accounts are. But what if he's been sending mo money to his mother in San Diego. What if he's been, I'll use the more stereotypical example of what people see on TV. What if he was uh, sending money to his brother or hiding money in the business? What? How do we find out about these things? You've got to talk to your attorney and your certified divorce financial analyst about what your suspicions are. Don't think anything isn't on the table. We want to hear about what you believe. We might say, hey, but this is how people spend money during a marriage. They help support a brother or a mother. Um, is it really something that they're hiding money is different? You know, are they going to give it to mom and then mom's just going to turn around and give it back to them when uh, when all this is over? So we there's a difference in what that financial infidelity is. Um, so Social infidelity, let's put it this way, husband has a girlfriend and he's been spending money. There may be what's called a waste claim. He's been paying for an apartment for her. Those kinds of things do happen. We want to get that, that was wasted money, money that was wasted by the community. Can that come back from his share of the community property? Um, it's sometimes very hard to prove, um, but it's there. So talk to your attorney about all these issues. And, and like, like everything else, it's state law based like well how does the state law see what some of these issues are but you know if the hair is standing up on the back of your neck it's doing that for a reason mention it to your professionals mention it to your attorneys so you don't really think this is the full picture because what we want to have for you to be able to make great decisions in your divorce and have a financially secure future you need to tell us what you think is really happening here. And sometimes it is worth actually spending the money, the return on that investment to get that professional to look into why did a large amount of money go over here or go over there? Having a forensic accountant, you know, I've talked about how these people are expensive. They are expensive, but sometimes they absolutely are worth it. And you can get a return on that investment of investing in that forensic accountant or other professional who can get you more money back, possibly. And it's a hard judgment to make, especially when the, the entire process is so overwhelming. But I'm here with you with my 30 tips in 30 days. You can check out more information at financiallyfitdivorce.com. And I think this is our last episode. So we'll start something else up again soon. Keep tuned to this channel. Um, and I've, I've enjoyed this. And hopefully you've learned something and I will see you again soon. Pam Friedman, Certified Divorce Financial Analyst, FinanciallyFitDivorce.com. I'm here with our 30 tips in 30 days. Have a good one.